Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where we've got a Kravix card component has a constant failure of 0.0005 per hour. And we want to determine the probability the component will work for 2,500 hours before it fails, and how many components would be expected to fail within 250 hours if we test a thousand of them. So the lambda within a exponential distribution function is actually our rate of failure. So we can use lambda as being 0 0.0005. So if we go and have a look at part A, which is the probability that the component will work for two and a half thousand hours before it fails, that's reliability. And we have a reliability function which states that the reliability of a function following an exponential distribution is e to the negative lambda t. So our function r of t is going to be e to the negative 0 0.0005 times t. And we want to know this for 2,500 hours, so we're going to find r of 2,500. So we're going to have e to the negative 0 0.0005 multiplied by 2,500. And if we work that out, we get an answer of 0 0.286505. So the probability that the component will work for 2,500 hours is about 0 0.287, so 28.65 percent. So not greatly reliable, depends I guess on how long the card is going to be used. So let's go and have now a look at part B. Part B, how many components would be expected to fail within 250 hours if a thousand are tested? So let's first work out how many are expected to pass. So that would be that R of 250 would give us our passing rate. So we're going to have E to the negative 0 0.0005 multiplied by 250, which is going to be 0 0.882497. But that's the probability that they're going to succeed for 250 hours. We want the probability of failure within that 250 hours. And the probability of failure is 1 minus the probability of success. So we're going to have 1 minus 0 0.882497. And if we work that out, that means that our probability of failure is 0 0.117503. Now we can just work out our expected number. And our expected number is given by how many we're testing, which is 1,000, multiplied by the probability, so multiplied by 0 0.117503. And so our expected number is 117.5. So about 118 of the components can be expected to fail within 250 hours. So there we go. If we have a constant failure rate of so many per hour or per time, that is lambda for an exponential distribution. And so we can find the reliability function using that lambda, which gives us the probability that a component or the thing will work for that given time. And so we can also do one minus success to give failure and work out a few things about probability from 